Hello everyone and welcome to my idiot's guide to Pityus Dungeon, or however you call it. Um, I know there's a lot of guides out there, um, but a lot of them seem to either be really long um, or very short. Uh, but the short ones are speed runs that require lots of precision jumping and uh, stuff that us mere mortals can't really reasonably do. Um, so this one's kind of a combination of running through it quick, um, but also keeping it reasonably simple. Um, so hope, hope it helps. I'm going to be trying to make this as, as simple as possible. Um, and showing places where you can make mistakes and what ha what to do if you make those mistakes. Um, to kind of help everyone through it. So, head over this way from the start. We're going to be doing that little uh, flourish move where you hit circle a lot in order to make certain jumps. So we need to hit this switch and that's going to raise this platform. Uh, we're gonna try to run back over here and drop into this um, but if we can't make it um, in fact I'm not going to actually make it I'm just gonna head towards it uh, just to show you in case you mess up so you can run back try to drop down there if you don't that's fine just head over here Break that and uh, just jump anywhere down here. Weird. And that'll bring you back down here. Now, this is where we started at. See, those are the platforms where we came in. Just come back over here. So if we had made it down here, we would have landed here. Uh, what we want to do is land on this statue and hit that switch. If you fall off the statue, you just head back up those stairs and around. That's where we started. Over the little grate and whatnot to get back up there. So we'll need to do a flourish off of this statue in order to hit this uh, switch. So just jump off towards the switch and do a flourish at the end. Now remember, if we were to fall off that statue, just head back up these stairs, and this is where we started. You just go through that little opening there. Since we got it, we're going to go past this head. And note that I'm not really getting any of the smaller treasures. Um, I will be getting the Genji Gloves and the Black Hood, which tends to be all anyone cares about. Um, but you're free to get whatever treasure you want. I'm just not doing it to save time. So we need to hit that switch. Hit this. our next switch there now once we hit that switch 
this uh, center section is going to start rotating. Um, rather than jump back across it, we're just going to drop down there, and that's going to respawn us on the other side. So now we're going to jump into the center section as it comes back around. And quickly get right here to keep you from falling off. Now we need to drop into this little section here. And hit that switch on the way down. If you fall off before getting down here, or if you hit the spikes, it's fine. Or if you miss that switch. Just find some place to go die, and it'll bring you back up here. Now if you fall off here, it'll just respawn you on the other side, so that's okay too. Now once we're back down here, this is where we slid down and hit that switch. Just head straight. There's a little drop there, so be sure to jump. So there's two um, little respawn manipulation, I guess uh, is what you call it, little respawn things we're going to be doing. So if you drop down here, it respawns you here. If you happen to fall off of the side here, it just puts you back on the other side of this little bridge. However, if we jump down there, get into that little hole with a flourish it'll respawn us uh, someplace else so that's what we're gonna try to do and that brings us here for whatever reason we can walk on air here so we need to get across over there it's gonna require a couple jumps and then a flourish at the end. That'll bring us over here. Once we're over here, just drop down. <clears throat> now this is the second uh, flourish that we have to do. The little respawn manipulation. If you just jump down here normally, it puts us back at the beginning. However, if we jump off of here and do a flourish into the corner and then hold north towards this wall, it should drop us down um, and under the wall and respawn us into the statue room. It may take a few tries to get it, um, but just keep doing it until you respawn in the statue room. Be sure to hold until you actually respawn um, because you'll move in the air while you're falling so you just have to keep holding so this room um, 
simple enough, but it's kind of annoying because anytime you mess up, uh, it respawns the whole room. Uh, or restarts you, respawns you right here, and everything's reverted back to its original thing. Um, as we move up here, this thing's going to start rotating, and we just need to walk around uh, until we can jump onto that statue and knock it over. Jump over here and it'll start, and you could just go ahead and wait till it stops moving. Just rock, walk over here. Just drop right down. And we need to jump to the other side of that little platform down there. Just run to the bottom. So once this rotates enough, you need to jump to the other side. Do a little flourish to give this you some air time. Ridiculous. Run to the end here. And then all you have to do is stand here. It'll drop you to where, uh, where you need to be. Now once it stops moving, just head up here. So all we need to do now is trigger it moving. Um, and then run back down here. And it'll start rotating us closer and closer to the statue. And then we're just going to jump off onto the statue. Just run up here to trigger it. Now you'll see it pause for a second. That's when it's safe to come over to the other side. Once you're over here, this is uh you just need to wait here until you're close. That's it. It'll pause again, just hang out. When the light hits you, just about good to go. So we're actually going to be heading up that way, but the Genji gloves are right down here, right in her belly button. So grab those and head back up. Head up her arm on the left here. Now if you uh, fall off of this, uh, any part of this arm, it's going to re uh, reset the whole room and you'll have to do all that over again. So it's not a big deal, but it's a little annoying, so try to make it across. Drop down onto her little torch thing. Line yourself up on this little uh, grate and jump straight off. A lot of times you'll just slide the whole way down, um, but you might hit there. And There we go. Run to the far side to trigger the platform, and we're going to be heading this way. A bunch of little treasure in here you can get if you want okay so if, if you just walk uh, off of this it's gonna drop and respawn you up here so jump off you'll hit a little section where it gets skinnier on the left now you could actually walk down here Now we're going to be jumping onto this little uh, grate thing, um, and it's actually a little more forgiving than it looks. You can sort of walk on some of those little holes and you'll be okay, um, but still best to not hit them if you can. Uh, if you do fall off at any part right here, it's just going to respawn you back at the little uh, that little start up there on the other side, so it's fine. run up here just a little bit and turn around you see a platform on this side keep to the left it's gonna get skinny then when it stops just come back down the other side 
So we need to jump on this statue and off to uh, a couple of other little platforms on the other side there. Now these platforms can be a little tricky. We need to hit this one, from that one to that one, and then over to that little uh, platform on the other side. You might fall a few times trying that. Just keep doing it until you make it. Just go up this thing a little bit until you see that grate. You need to jump on top of that grate. And then head up until you can't head up. Turn around and you'll see a little pathway here. Don't go too far up it. You only need to go until you see this little hole. Walk down into that little hole. There's some stairs though on the right here. Hit that switch. Gather whatever little treasure you want in here. And this actually brings us back to uh, near where we started. We're going to be heading this way, but I'm going to show you. If you jump off here, if you happen to fall, it just brings you up here. Let's just run down these stairs. And this is that door we just came out. So we're going to start heading around this way. Be careful you don't fall off of the side here. Head up. So you hit this wall. Don't fall off there. So if you hit these, it's fine. It just puts you back right there. So we need to get to that platform on the other side the far side. Um, but this section's a little weird because depending on where you fall off it might respawn you back here at the beginning. This is the entrance where we first came in. But that's fine because uh, this is pretty much where we want to be anyway. Let's just head back the way we originally came. And it brings you back to this room. So depending on where you fall off during this next section, you're either going to respawn at the beginning or you're going to respawn right here. Either one's fine. So we're going to have a lot of precision jumping to do here. If you're really good at that sort of thing, you're not really going to have any problems. Um, but if you're bad at it, like I am and like I'm sure some other people are, uh, this is probably going to be the most annoying part. So, head over here. We need to hit that little thing to get over there. Um, you can hit it from here if you got a good rhythm going. Or you can be super careful and try to make it from here. Um, if you keep falling here, it's fine. Just head back up and around as many times as you need to. So once we get over to this side, this is probably the hardest jump. We need to jump onto that little uh, piece of metal sticking out, over to that other pillar, and then to the far pillar to hit that switch. Um, we can't just jump across, we have to do a little flourish at the end. But because of how, uh, if you notice when he does his flourish there, um, he kind of spreads his legs and it makes them kind of like land weird. So I find that it's easiest to just equip the katana. 
is the flourish uh, animation when he jumps. Just a little bit more. It's just a little bit more even. So just. So just line yourself up, jump across, and do a flourish. Might take a few tries. Um, just try to land on that little platform. Excellent. So once you're over here, you can't really overshoot this jump because you can uh, run right into the wall and it's fine. And then from here, just hit that switch. And we need to get up onto that door. Just drop back down. Across here, across. Now we're in the home stretch here. This is pretty much the last hard part. Uh, we need to kind of do our little tightrope walk across this. Um, I had a little trouble with it, so just go as slow as possible. If you're having trouble, if you're good, unlike me, then you can just run right across. Remember, this is the idiot's guide to pity us. For us, uh us plebs out there. I just run and jump off the end. And that's it. You can head over there if you want. Um, all these little treasures are multiple. Some pretty good items. And we're done. Just hit the switch. It'll bring you up here. Be sure to pick up your uh, black hood before jumping off, or you're going to have to do all that over again. And that's it. We're done. Back at the beginning. So I hope this guide helped uh, for all those of you who are tearing your hair out um, trying to get through this place. Um... If it, if it helped, if you liked the video, uh, leave a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want, uh, but I kind of put out weird content, if any content at all. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you have a better guide. I'd love to see it. Um, hope it helped. Thanks a lot. Bye.